All right, congrats, your website is complete. I confess this email is going to be a little long, but if you skim or rush through this email, you're going to have a lot of questions that we've already answered. At the bottom of this email, you're going to see the direct link for you to get access to your website. But first, make sure that you accept the staff invite that we've already sent you from Shopify. It expires after three days, so make sure you accept that invite. Tip number one, while watching this video, make sure you use your laptop to make changes or edit this theme. Using a laptop or a desktop will make this process smoother and extremely efficient. Step two, the monthly fee to run your business once you activate your store is $29.99 a month. That monthly payment is billed by Shopify. We do not bill that monthly payment. If you want to get lower transaction rates, you can increase your plan. Tip three, also download the Shopify app from your app store. Whether you're iOS or Android, you can go right into your application store, download the Shopify store. You're going to enter in the email address that you signed up with for your Shopify store or the email that we sent you an invite to in the same password. You're going to log into your, your app. That way you can get sales notifications and make minor changes to your website. If you try to organize your theme and add products, yes, you can do all of that from your phone, but it is difficult. So I recommend you have a laptop or a desktop. If you do not have one, you can find one on Amazon for less than $200. Also, a very, very important note, people can't see your website until you accept ownership. Once you accept ownership, you will have to remove the password from the front end of your store. So your store would be locked to your customers. It would say, enter in a code to view your website. I'm gonna show you how to do that on this tutorial video. Also, this tutorial video is meant to give you guys basic but necessary instructions on how to operate your Shopify store. If you want a more intensive and more in detail course on how to build your business, how to build your brand, how to market, how to build a team, and how to have a six, seven, or eight figure store, we do have courses available for those processes. Also, in this email, you're going to see a link. You're going to click this link. As long as you've accepted the invite, this link will work. If you did not accept the invite, this link will not work. So make sure, going back to the top, that you accept the link that we sent you via Shopify. This screenshot here shows you exactly how your back office will look. In order to add products, you're going to click products, and that's how you add products. To customize your store, you're going to select online store, and then you can select this button here that says customize to organize and maneuver your theme around. You do not want to go here where it says actions. This is a coders only section, right? What, what you customize here is what the customers can see. What you customize back here is more of the back end stuff like products, collections, data analytics, etc. Um, also, if you want to organize your navigation bar, this is where you would organize your navigation bar. This is your menu options. So you would select navigation. And in this course, I'm going to show you again some basic but necess necessary things that you're going to need in order to have successful Shopify store. Right. So we're going to dive right in because I've already accepted the invite and I'm going to show you the back end of my Shopify store. And I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to maneuver your brand new theme. All right. So I'm logged into the back office of my brand new store. Right. I uh, with my brand new store. I today I have 445 visitors and I was able to bring in a thousand dollars today. I'm excited, but I want to show you guys. Uh, outside of the income on how to operate your theme. So to enter products, you're just going to select products. And this is how you would enter your product. You would basically select add product. Boom. And you would do the basic details of title, description, the picture of the product, the pricing, 
And then if you wanted to show that the pricing is on discount, you can put compare at price. So for instance, if my price was $100,000 and the price used to be 500, I can do this and on my website, it would show that it's $400 off. So this is a good marketing tool. Also, always remember to set your product status to active. If you do not set your product status to active, your product will remain in draft, right? If you want to charge tax on your product, leave this checked. If you want to track quantity, leave this checked and you can put how many quantity are in stock. If you wanted to, or you'll put your SKU number if you're trying to keep a stock unit. And we have courses teaching more about SKU and stock and barcode, etc. Uh, if you had a quantity of available for 100, you can put 100 quantity or you can uncheck it and it doesn't do a quantity checker. And you can also select if you want to continue to sell when the product is out of stock. And then if you're selling digital products, you want to make sure you uncheck this box so it doesn't ask your customers for shipping info and only billing info. So no shipping address will be needed. So make sure you check if it's a digital product. If you have variants, you're going to click variants. You have multiple different options for variants from size, color, material, style, title, etc. Right. And then you can do size like, you know, small, enter, medium, enter, large, enter, XL, enter. If you wanted to add another option like color, you can select add option color. You can do red, enter, blue. Right. The only time this gets complicated is with the hair industry. And we do have um, a full video and a course teaching you guys how to properly do variants if you're in the hair industry because Shopify has it maxed out at a hundred variant options but we have ways around that to show you guys how to have multiple variants so if you're in the wig industry and you wanted to sell you know different frontals custom sizes and selections um, that's something that you may need so that's how you enter in products and then you would just go here and you can adjust the quantity for all the different sizes if your prices were different depending on the color you can change the color, etc. All right, so that's pricing. For collections, we're gonna leave that. Collections is like categories. These are gonna be the main things that people select uh, when they're trying to go to your website. So they can select collections if they wanted to get to different sections of your website. Like look at collections as different rooms and what you your furniture that you have in your room would be more like your products. So, for instance, in this particular section, it says business credit, new methods on how to build your business credit. So it's going to have multiple options inside of this room or inside of this collection. Right. Uh, and then Shopify has some other cool things like gift cards. All right. So now that we understand how to do collections or what collections are, if we wanted to create a collection, we can select create a collection. We can select create a collection and as you see here it tells you examples of how to do collections you can do things like summer collection under 100 dollars you know summer picks or uh you know best sellers whatever you want to name the collection you can name the collection all right now you can either do automated or you can do manual i'll show you slightly manual manual is my preference a lot of Business owners do prefer auto automated, but I'm going to show you my preference. And if you wanted to learn the difference between the two, like I said, we do have a full Shopify course breaking down the differences between the two. So for right now, I'm just going to select manual and you always have to select save because it won't allow you to manually enter in products until you save it first. So I'll select save. And then now I can actually enter in products, right? Boom. And I can leave it organized at best selling or I can organize it to manual and I can put whatever I want to show first and whatever I want to show last. So if I wanted to do this, boom. As you see, these two are active. These two are drafts. So they won't show because they're in draft. And all I have to do is move it around and I have everything organized. So I'm going to delete this collection because I don't need that collection. All right, so now we're going to dive right into uh, the theme, and that's going to be on the next video. Uh, we did a full 
you know, back end, looking at the back end. Uh, again, like I said, you can select orders. You can do all kind of stuff. Look at the amount of money that you made. You can go to your settings. You can update your notifications, your uh, your user and permissions. So if you wanted to add someone to your account, you can select users users and permissions. You can add a staff member to your your account here. You can adjust your taxes, your shipping and delivery, uh, your general store options. There's a lot that you can do here. Uh, we go in full depth uh, and everything again on our course. So that's how you manage your, your back end of the store. Uh, you can also add additional sales channels. Uh, we show you how to do Facebook. We show you how to do Instagram shopping and everything on the course. All right, so once we select online store, you'll notice that it has an additional drop down where you can have like blog posts, pages, navigation, etc. right? You can look at all the back end of your website. So for instance, on the main menu on this particular website that I'm using, I deleted all my navigation menus and the only navigation menus I wanted was courses and eBooks. But if I wanted to add another menu item, I always select inside of link first and then I can add a collection right here, hoodies, add it. And then now hoodies is there. I always select in link because link is going to automatically name it. So if I wanted to do a page, I can go to pages. I can select contact us, add it. And now my contact us page is there, right? If I wanted to add an about us page about us add, and now the about us page, I can even move it around. So look how I'm dragging it. So you can drag and put what you want first, what you want last. And if you don't want something, you just select delete 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 right and you're pretty much good to go now for domains if you haven't connected your domain yet uh, you want to make sure you connect your domain and I'll show you how to do that uh, just by selecting connect existing domain and when you enter in your domain name make sure you enter in your domain name without www you want to just enter in the, do the domain name without that in the front. So if my donate domain name is coolest nerd ever .com, I'll select that and I'll select next. And then what you want to do, if you purchase your domain name from another provider, make sure you sign in to that website. So for instance, I purchased my domain name from GoDaddy. I would sign in to GoDaddy to make sure that it registers that I'm signed in. And then it's going to register that I'm signed in on GoDaddy and also register that I'm signed in on Shopify. It's going to automatically connect my domain just by going through next, next, next. And it'll show you how to do that uh, exactly. So um, that's the back end of your Shopify store. Next video, we're going to talk about the thing.